All right, what's going on, guys? Dirty Thirty here. We're gonna be talking about the guns of Call of Duty World War II, and it's gonna go from the rifles, submachine guns, light machine guns, sniper rifle, shotgun. The video that you saw in the beginning, that was uh, fast paced. I slowed the video down so you guys can look at all the guns in each class, the damage, and all the stats on the right bottom right hand corner, and the definition that they have underneath each gun and what it does and what's good about it and what's bad about it. But as you guys can see, we got the M1941, you got the M1 Garand, you got the STG44, you got the M1A1 Carbine. That's what they had in Weekend 1, Weekend 2, and I don't know what they had in the PC beta. I didn't, I don't have a PC, I don't play on PC, I really don't care about PC, so. But I heard the game was really good on there, I heard the beta was really good besides the hackers, but supposedly they didn't have the hacking security on the beta it's going to be on the full version of the game so hopefully they take care of that but as you guys can see this is assault rifle classes and what i'm going to tell you is what i've been repeating myself over and over again there was no such thing as an assault rifle in world war ii just so everybody knows that so what you see this is just in the game but they made it a class world at war didn't have assault rifle class it was just like i forget what they called it in world at war but even uh, the only assault rifle is right here the stg44 was the only assault weapon that was the, the legit first one because everything else like the mp44 mp40 or i mean the mp40 not the mp44 mp40 and everything you're gonna see next in the submachine gun class was all was the only fully automatic weapons pretty much and the other ones that were fully automatic were like semi-automatic and they are fully automatic, but they're like slow as shit because it's World War II, guys. Everything else was submachine guns, grease gun, PPSH, Type 100, uh, WAPE. I don't know how to say that. But they were the first fully automatic weapons in the game. And then STG-44 came along later on in uh, World War II. And then one of the other guns was the... Um, this footage is from... The weekend one the reason why because some machine gun that they added was the thompson they added that in there that's not here but the thompson's in the in one part and everybody knows the thompson everybody knows the ppsh type 100 is pretty out there and then the grease gun the grease gun was pretty much before the mp40 the grease gun was the german gun and it was one thing one true fact about the grease gun it was so cheaply made that after like got messed up on the battlefield it was easy for them just to send them a whole new rifle they never even sent them parts for the guns they just sent them a whole new rifle for the grease gun but uh yeah so just so you guys know the assault rifles class the rifle they call it that's why they, they that's why they call it the rifle as you can see i just noticed that it's called the rifle it's not even called assault rifles because there's no such thing as an assault rifle like the like nowadays you have the uh, m4a1 you have the m4 you have the m16 they're assault rifle guns you have the scar Back then, there technically those guns should fall underneath sniper rifle. All those guns in the rifle classes because they were all semi-automatic. Technically, they're semi-automatic sniper rifles, <laughs> and they have them under a rifle class. It kind of annoys me because they want to be true to detail, and that's something they should be true to. You just saw the light machine guns right here. The Bren Iron Sight, as I can tell you guys from playing Weekend One, Weekend Two beta. I don't know what they did in uh, the PC beta, but the Iron Sights on this gun fucking suck. The best gun is the Lewis and the MG15, but damn, that last gun fucking sucked, the brand. Uh, now you got the sniper rifles. I use all the sniper rifles. They were kind of OP in the thing. If they slow down the, um, the uh, aiming down sights, that going into that motion, they have to make that slower. They get, it's a sniper rifle, especially if they add um, iron sights into the game, because they didn't have any iron sights in the beta. The sniper's going to be kind of OP. And unless you use an iron sight, I think the damage up close should be powerful, and then like unless you get a headshot in the game, it shouldn't be a one-shot kill with the rifles. I think that while well, the sniper rifles, gotta watch that because there's rifles right there. But if they don't make from long range, if they don't make the headshots a one-shot kill, because there's a headshot sound in the game and there's headshots. So if they don't do that and they just make it a one-shot kill like in the toe, like they did in Black Ops 2, like we're gonna have problems. They go, should go to sniping in Black Ops, the first one. Um, the shotguns, the flaming bullets in the shotguns, as you guys saw in the beta, they really didn't do shit. And if the person didn't stand there for an extra second after being shot, you didn't die from the flaming, the flaming rifle rounds. Like you didn't, you didn't die from them. 
also often I had to use sometimes I have to get just spamming it this gun right here the double barrel this gun is awesome underneath it, as you can see there's another there's another rifle underneath it, as you can see right there there's three holes that you can kill people take a sniper rifle around from far away if you hit them right in the freaking head man it is awesome it's fun to use it's really hard but it is fun to use but that's the video guys of this and I hope you took in all the details yeah this is footage from beta from the beta one weekend um, because they added in another shotgun I think I don't remember but I know they added in the Thompson definitely and I'm gonna show a fast-paced version of the of the video again of both of what you just saw and I appreciate you guys watching me this is one of video and hopefully we're gonna have more of uh, the guns coming out and I'll have more videos for you guys coming up and when the game launches and right now I uh, appreciate you guys watching me taking all the weapons hope you guys had fun playing the beta beta 1 beta 2 and PC beta um, I'm kinda excited November 3rd guys this game comes out so Peace, dirty dirty. Out. All right, fellas, this is our chance to break out of Norman. Won't be easy. Don't you focus on your men, because that's what'll get you through.